My brothers, my sisters, if I look down on a sister time, don't they give us signal? Signal to do it. Signal make we do cases. And then we go come back to our, my, my people. We go, when I go here, one of my students, well, one of my children, we be IT students here, but because she they do well, they don't give them um, advert consultancy. When I go here, how she go advertise laundry for this place. One. Number two, one of my IT students, as I they challenge everybody around me, made them grow, made them because I want to make everybody around me make it better past me. Now, one of my daughters, now, now Pepe, with spices and other things, now she arrange inside container and how much she they sell her per container, just 500 naira. Another of my, see, everybody around me has a positive energy. Let's appreciate ourselves. <clears throat> Except one way go to spoil my name. But I know what I go do. My brothers, my sisters, if I look down on a sister time, don't they give us signal, signal to do it, signal, make we continue to the van, not they go. Yes, sir, Daisy. Morning, my honorary president. Mm. So the first case we get now from Mr. Adaka Emmanuel. Adaka Emmanuel, what happened to Adaka Baba, Emmanuel? Baba come to represent his son where he don't die. Mm. He alleged say the, the son now Uber driver. Mm -hmm. On the 14th of June, the son go work normal mm. as every other day. Mm. And that day, when he go work, he call the wife around five o'clock, tell the wife, say, make it up and beg the neighbor, make their own generator for him because mm. he just has a baby. Mm. So since then, the son no come back. And mm. he come later find, say, the motorway, the son they drive. The man say, if he reach where he want to drop this last passenger, he go come back house. But they don't see him that night. Look off this AC because of the baby. Please, off it. They don't see him that night. Mm. So he say he go come back. When he, they don't come see him, they can't trace. Hold on, dear. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this case be the case where I hear, say, from the letter of complaint. Yes, sir. The son, now Uber driver. Yes, sir. Somebody book him for Johnny. Yes, sir. He carried the passenger, they go Kubwa. Yes, sir. Abino be Kubwa. Gwagwalada. Sorry, Gwagwalada yes. side. Now, he reached there. Now, the last communication where they, they get, get with, with this, with the, with, with the son be yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> he no come back, he no come back. He no come back, he no come back. Yes, sir. The, the next thing, they can see the young man dead body. Body. Around that area. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. You know, come back, you know, come back. They don't see that, but the police don't enter matter now. Yes, sir. They can't trace the yes, man. Sir. No, they can't trace the young man, father, through police investigation. Yes, sir. The father can't hand over the son. We book the Uber, Uber driver. Yes, sir. If I do mistake, correct me. Okay, sir. We come book the Uber driver. Yes, sir. The son. They can't carry and go police. police. Uh -uh. One day, they can't trace the car, the car. for mechanic workshop. For Kogi State, sir. Now, when they can't trace the car for mechanic. Pa for Panabita. Yes, eh, for uh, 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 yes, uh, yes, mechanic sir. workshop. Yes, sir. Now, according to what I hear, they don't already, re uh, uh, they don't already release yes. the young man. But waiting they discover, they say, that car, now the man's son, that young man, we book him. Now he carry the motor, go to the mechanic workshop. Yes, sir. Now the case where they go release the suspect be this. Daddy, tell us the story, sir. Sit down, sir. Sit down, sir. Okay. Daddy, introduce yourself. Good morning, the family. Morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. Morning, sir. My name is Adaka Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. I reside at Biaji Across, mm. opposite Cedar College. Mm. Uh, on the 16th, on the on the 14th of June, mm. 
my son wake early in the morning and uh, went to work as mm. usual mm -hmm. as an Uber driver. Mm. So reaching around five to five thirty, mm. he called her wife mm. that he should meet one of our neighbor to start the generator because of the baby, little baby. Mm. So the wife asked, "When are you coming back?" He said, "When I drop this." trip that I carry, mm. I will come back. Mm. That was the end. We didn't hear him again. Till something after 11 in the night, all of us were worried. Mm. We begin to call the number. The two number that is using, no one is going. Mm. Then we begin to call. Call till around 4. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Because I have already informed all my children. Mm -mm. Then the one that is in Nasarawa called us. That the number rang. But the person didn't speak anything. Mm -hmm. So we begin to call. Reaching around 4.30 a.m. Then they call her. And told her. Who? The wife? That my daughter in okay. Nasarawa. Mm -hmm. They call her and told her. That. Your brother came to the hotel with a friend and they drink so he could not be able to drive. So they lodge him there. We ask where. Mm -hmm. He said it's Galaxy Hotel <coughs> in Bape. In Pape? In Pape, yes. Mm -hmm. Then around five in the morning, mm -hmm. I call this my in-law with my first son. Mm -hmm. Please go to Bape and go. To and Galaxy Hotel. Mm -hmm. And search for this uh, boy. He's 38 years. Mm -hmm. It's last year that he married. Mm -hmm. The baby was three uh, weeks when they killed him. Mm -hmm. So they go to Bape, search for the whole place. Go to Asokuro, go to other places. What of the Galaxy Hotel? Why they no, no, there is nothing like Galaxy Hotel in Bape. Go to other places we could not find him. So we started searching. Searching to the extent till nowhere. Mm. Then I went with my in-laws to phase four police station. Mm. We reported. Mm. They say we should take the case to Biaji police station. Mm -hmm. That is their own case. Mm. Then we went to Biaji police station. Then we report. Then we begin to Loof up and down. Mm. This my in law, uh, in -law mm. with one of my tenants. Oh yeah, there. come now, come. Mm. So all of them we are going up and down to search for the boy till they went to the Uber mm. to give us <laughs> the, the last mm -hmm. direction. Mm -hmm. They they don't want to give us the, the Uber people. Yes, mm. they were dribbling us that uh, unless police bring order. Not us. Uh -huh. So it was when we say, okay, we are not telling you to give us order to go and get the person mm. that booked the vehicle, uh, but we want to know the direction. That is all. Where this child went last. Mm. So now they told us to go to Guagualada houses. Mm. Then we went there together, two of them with mm. some other people. Mm. They went there as they were searching. Then themselves, we are tired because time has gone almost to seven. And they no show the, the particular they location. They didn't show us They just anywhere. say Gwagwalada. They just say Gwagwalada. And Gwagwalada big now. So as we are, they were about to come, they direct them to uh, Gwagwalada police uh, uh, area, area yeah. command. Mm. So that is where they went together with my son picture. Mm. When they got there, they meet the, the DPO. And the DPO said that uh, the, DP, the DPO said that uh, they are sorry, such person. They reported to them that they took him knife and dropped him from the vehicle. They tear him and the intestine come out. So that is how themselves carried the boy to mortuary. So they went there and uh, I see the. Corpse that very Monday. So 
They didn't tell us when we come back. You know, we are in sorrow, mm -hmm. searching for the boy. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, that same boy that killed my son, mm -hmm. whether he's boy or Abi, whether he's the father, called me and said that we should send 20,000. That is with the boy. He never knew that we have known that the boy is dead. Mm. That is with the boy. That we should send 20,000 that the boy is stranded. He cannot be able to, uh, there is no money for him to enter vehicle. Mm. So by that time, these people never revealed to us that the boy is in mortuary. Mm. Then my daughter, my younger daughter, he could not bear it. Mm. He went by the side and said, even though I don't have money, let me send 5,000 mm. for him to be eating. Mm. They directed us to one POS mm. in that area. A particular POS? Yes. Mm. So my daughter sent 5,000. Mm. After sometimes he called us that 5,000 is not enough. I even have the voice record. Mm. So that the 5,000 is it's not enough. So we begin to ask. He called the wife. The wife asked, where is the particular place? He told us that it's Nasarawa. So they begin to dribble us. This they, is the nice sign. Say, this person done, they kill people before. So continue. So they continue dribbling us until when we got to the, when they come back and told me that the boy is dead. So we begin to find and how we are Daddy, going. sorry for interrupting you. You see that money where they send? It is very important. Okay, sir. You know why? It follow as evidence. Because for them to... If, as, as it be saying, I then direct you to that particular POS. Yes. It means a connection day between them and the POS man. Okay. And, and they, they transfer the money. The money enter a particular account. Yes. Abino be so. Yes. So you see, say God, get hand inside this thing so that it, they go they exposed. Continue, sir. So when they come, when we begin to look how we are going to get the person that uh, killed the child, mm. then uh, we call the MVO because they collected the motor from the MVO mm. and registered with the uh, OBA. Mm -hmm. So we called the MVO people together with the Guagualada police uh, station. So they tried- You said you collect the motor from which company? From MVO. Okay. MVO Logistic. Logistics. Logistics, sorry. Okay, continue. So they went and they tracked the vehicle. When they tracked the vehicle, they followed the track. They tracked it. Till from here to Kogi, to Angpa, mm. to uh, Omale. So that was the place. When they went there, this is the person that followed them. Collect microphone, sir. I, I will now take trace the team uh, to Kogi, Angpa, Omale. Okay, thank you, Modernary President. Mm. Good morning, everybody. Yes, your name, sir. My name is Fine Chairman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The motor has a tracker. Mm -hmm. So we now track the motor. From Abuja to Amba, mm -hmm. we finally got the car from Panebita Shore because maybe the spirit of the dead guy, mm -hmm. a, a fight with mm -hmm. the killer. Mm -hmm. So the killer, the killer now have a serious accident mm -hmm. on the way approaching the village. Mm -hmm. So that is where we track the car. So as we now Congo, what we now discover from the car? Uh, from the Panebita. Okay, Daddy, continue. As they went there, they discovered the vehicle from the Panebita. Panebita. Mm -hmm. They now start wait for the panabita to come work because it was early in the morning. They were there before the panabita. When the panabita comes, they will hear the panabita. Who bring this vehicle here? Mm -hmm. The panabita say, he know the person that, uh, when they begin to handle the panabita, he say he know the person that bring the vehicle. Mm. So he take them to a particular house. Mm. Even inside that house, we, di we discover my son bible and uh, some clothes that is using for church uh, program so when they begin to hold the man in the house he say it's not the one that is his son okay if it's your son quite well where is the son your son he said the son has gone 
But the Panevita said that this man is the one that hand moto over to him. That yeah. he don't know his son. Mm. That this is the man that hand the moto. Mm. We asked him how did moto Take come to this place. Mm -hmm. He said that uh, the son called him around 2 a.m. in the morning that the vehicle get accident. The vehicle get accident. You didn't inform police. Mm. You didn't inform vigilante. Mm. And you make arrangement to carry the vehicle at that, to the, at that 2 a.m. Uh, mm. Early in the morning mm. before 6. Mm. He take the vehicle to Panebita. And the Panebita enter and cut the indomie from the vehicle mm. and carry go to his house. So that is why they arrested two of them. Then they bring them here in Abuja from Gwagwalada police station. Mm. When they bring them here, they refer us to police uh, uh, command. Mm. From the police command, they send us to SAS. Mm. Then we hand over both the property of my son. Mm. Where will I recover from the man yes, house? Mm. To them. Then uh, they continue. The, after some certain time, they call me that I should bring money. They are going to track the boy. So I went. When Panabita don't talk, say, now nah, this Baba Nain nah, carried the motor. Come. We didn't concern you with any boy again. Okay. So they went. I went there. Then I gave them 100,000 naira. Which police you give 100,000? SARS. SARS. Mr. Abatua. Okay. You feel yeah. remember the officer where you give the. I know him. Wait I, be I name. know the uh, name is uh, Bimbo. Okay. I have the phone number, even the IPO. Unarim Azoka. Azoka. Where, who you give the money? I give the money to Azoka. Azoka. Collect uh, microphone, sir. Uh -huh. Good morning, my ordinary president. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Breaker. The family. Mm. My name is Ono Emmanuel. Mm. Uh, it was uh, the uh, IPO. It was an I, uh, the IPO, Mr. Azuka mm. from uh, SAS. Mm -hmm. That was one who gave the money. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand mm. at first, mm -hmm. because the the parent, the the, the 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 man who contracted the Panabita to fix the car mm -hmm. was arrested. It was with the help of uh, Guagualada Police Command. Let's appreciate Guagualada Police Command. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They were very, they were very kind to us. They were really proactive mm. because when we, the very day when they told us about the so-called Galaxy Hotel, mm. which never happened, because mm. if, when they mentioned that the boy was drunk mm. and was in a hotel, I know he doesn't drink, he doesn't take alcohol. Mm. He's my in-law. Mm. He's the immediate uh, senior to my wife, mm. so he does not take alcohol. You know. So and then at that point when they told us, we turned the whole Abuja upside down. We were like four of us. Mm. I drove around the whole Abuja anywhere hotel that has that name galaxy we have we've gone everywhere and then we couldn't find such so that was where we now went to both office the reason why they didn't give us the direct uh, uh, location of the person was that they said it has to be with a, a police report or something before they could uh, uh, give us such so we went to the police that was when we now went to just like baba said went to kubwa phase four police station and then they said that it's not within their jurisdiction because the person is living in Biaji across. So we went to Biaji. So when we went to Biaji and then reported the case, so he said the, the IPO, the DCO there said he has somebody because already I called the MVO Logistics. They are the owners of the vehicle. So when I called them at first, when we were still looking for the boy, he told us that, uh, he can, uh, that what, I should go and report to the police. I said, okay, I know that the vehicle have a tracker. Can you please track to us so that we know exactly where the vehicle is at the moment? Because we've really gone everywhere in Abuja, we couldn't find. That was when he told us that he can cite the car at Omale, Omale, something like that in Kogi State. Then when we now explained that to the police, he told us he has a, a cosmate there that he can engage. So when we went to Bolt, they directed us to Gwagwalada. So the Gwagwalada, the DPO was a very nice person. That very night, he was so angry, he charged the whole, he, all his boys to make the whole Gwagwalada uncomfortable for, for thieves and mm. all the black spot they have, mm. that they should go around and then clear the place. Mm. So when we now eventually went to, with the envio logistics, they brought a tracker for us. They traveled together with this young man to Omale. So when they now discovered the place, when the, the Panabita, already we discovered that even when we get there, he has already opened up the car. I remove the catalyst. You, what are the suspect? 
uh, just introduction be that it be like saying that pieces they want pieces they can because you know this catalyst nine that they call indomie, indomie yes, that's right, nine sir. they make motor no day some people wear when a motor they shark fuel like say tomorrow no day na panabitas they thief that thing and then they do it with in connivance with your mechanic they go come out and come carry rubbish choke inside the the pot the exhaust pot small time you want to go change sound another time do you want to know go they accelerate well well another time you, you put half tank you never go far you want to fuel don't finish so continue sir so in order to not to take us backward from where papa was so let me just go take straight us to backwards if okay. if he yeah. gets something where papa forget to mention yeah, so at the point that where they have removed the catalyst so that was when we now the, the, the okay. police. Somebody say is, the name of the place is Omala, not Omale. Okay, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, where so they, wait, which tribe them be? They are from the same place. That's their village. That's so, Igala. Yes, Igala. That's their village. So mm -hmm. when they went to the place and then they arrested, it was a uh, Guagalada police commander arrested both the Panabita and the man, mm -hmm. which they found the, the properties of the disease in his house. Mm -hmm. So many of his properties, like the Bible, his clothes, his charger, several other things is in a carton. So mm -hmm. they now arrested that. The man said, no, it was not him, it's his son. So when he could not provide his son, which he claimed it was, though the Bogolada command now arrested the two of them and bring them back to the station. Mm -hmm. So they now did a memo and then send us with our IPO, which is Mr. Dodo, Victor mm -hmm. Dodo, mm -hmm. so that we should go to command headquarters. The way we got to command headquarters, they are the one that studied the case and said that is not what they can handle, that they should, we should go to SAS. They are the one that transferred us to SAS. So afterwards, when we've discussed with them and all that, the, very, and the, the SAS, they said they want to go to the place where the corpse was picked mm -hmm. so as to maybe take a picture of the place and all mm -hmm. that should come along. Mm -hmm. I said I was busy already. I'm already in my office, so I could not come that very day. So Papa gave money for transport. Mm. I think four thousand. Yes. So they went to do that, do all their investigations and all that. So they now kept the person in their own custody. Mm. They said they have to go to Omala. 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 They have mm. to go to Omala to search for the boy, the boy which the man is claiming is his son mm. that is there. Mm. So fine. That was when we gave a hundred thousand to them for their transportation. Mm. Mm. And then afterwards, they said they need to track a phone. His phone number that we should bring the phone number that we should bring money. So I gave twenty thousand. They tracked it. They told me they have gotten a result that they have to make a trip. So after that was after three days, I called again. Was have you gone? He said I have not gone. Then after another two days again, I called. Then the man, the uh, Mr. Azuka, who is our IPO, was like that. I'm bugging him. I'm putting pressure on him that the money we have brought, we will give them is not enough. So that whenever they they want to go, they will go. That they will tell me when they have gone. So the next day, I told Papa to call them. That he said I'm putting pressure on him, and he's already quarrelling and all that. So he called them the next day, and he said they are already on their way to, to, to They have gotten what they want. They have gone. So two days later, I called. He said he's there already. That they have arrested somebody, the person that has his Android phone, with the help of the tracking device they have got. So I said that's fine. That means the person in, he said the person is in cell already there in Kogi State. Mm. So I kept quiet. That was on Thursday. Then on Saturday, I sent a text message to him. I said, how far was the situation of things? He said, they are back. I said, okay, thank God. That means we have our principal suspect now. He didn't respond to me. So I waited on Sunday morning. I just waited. I, didn't, as I said, okay, happy Sunday. I just sent a message to see whether he saw what I said. Even though I know he has read it, he now said thanks. So I decided to call his, uh, the commandant, to text his commandant that... I heard that your boys are back. He said, yes, his boys are back, that, uh, but they didn't come with the suspect. Uh -uh. That I should find a way to come so that we can re-strategize. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So on Monday, I went with Papa to the, his office. I was like, that he should, uh, what was it? You know, explaining that they were unable to find the person. That immediately, they cited the presence of the police that they, they absconded. How they can not... police go in uniform? Uh -huh. And an undercover operation like this, they, they supposed to show themselves. Continue, I beg. So uh, it was before then, somebody called Papa from the village and said that they cited the man and the Panabita in the village. Have they been released? Uh -uh. And then we were like surprised. Wait, so the same Panabita, where they released, they see him with who again? 
with the papa, the man the, the, that claimed he was his son that killed. That was actually why we uh -huh. came here. Because we discovered that they released without informing us anything. So it was when we went to the, the director, the commandant, he told us that there is a court order for him to be released. Uh -huh. Now we we'll ask, on what ground? Is it that he was released to go and get his son? Or on what ground? We were not informed. We are not even briefed. He said it was a court order. I said, was it not possible for you to have told us Did that... Did they show you the court order? No court order. We demanded for a court order. One of my younger brothers that came with us I demanded for a court order. He's actually a lawyer, mm -hmm. but he's just a, a friend. You know, mm -hmm. who asked that he should just listen to him so mm -hmm. that maybe he will get something. He now asked, are you the lawyer? He said, no, he's just our brother. He said, is there a court order? What was the court order? He said they, they just, they, 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 their own lawyer brought a court order that they should release the man. And, and they, they released release the him. man. Um, make we call the present commissioner of police FCT when I know say Balachi Roma now, no be CP again now AIG in charge of zone seven, which means even the command now they under uh AIG Balachi Roma. Hmm. <clears throat> Judge, judge, and support me. We call the uh, new CP saying, eh? yeah. Now, the first time we, we go call the CP be this. And uh, I just hope, say, um, they be send me a number last time. I call and make a tell and welcome to Abuja. Uh, although no be some somebody we, we go talk a welcome to Abuja. Now Percy way down they work for Abuja here and they say the man is down to earth. They say the man sabi in work well well. They say the man na God fearing man. So make we make we try reach uh, the new CP. But they don't transfer the matter to SARS. Abi? Talk to me, talk to me. Yes, <coughs> President. Now they refer Una to SARS. Yes, it was the Gogolada command that took, they, they referred the, the matter to... Command. Command. Then From command, command to SARS. Yes. To SARS. Uh, okay. You see? The new CP. Uh, 118. Uh, make a dialer. <clears throat> give me, give me. My brothers, my sisters, when are they uh, listen to Human Rights Radio 101.1? Uh, where be that? This one. This one with the up 3314. 080 I'm a boss. Some people, some people who don't ready with their phone already. They won't copy CP number. Hello, sir. Hello, CP FCT. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Me and you follow the for live radio on Human Rights Radio and Television, uh, the headquarters of Breketa Family Reality Radio and Television Talk Magazine program, sir. Okay. Uh, sorry, say now the first time where they call you since where you become CP. So I beg make you forgive me. No problem. No. The day where you resume, I try to call you your number. No, they go. Hey, yeah. Yes, sir. No problem. Okay. Uh, CP, you get one matter where they for grounds. I don't know whether you they comfortable to talk to me straight. I be make I end the call, make you compose yourself, make I call you back, sir. No, I'll be attend interim meeting now with the minister of FCT just oh, now. Okay. I have meeting. Okay, make I quickly uh, tell you, he get one murder case. Okay. Uh the the driver now Uber driver with the book to for uh, uh, for trip they carry and go along this uh, Guagualada Kubua side. They go kill him. Guagualada. Yes, as they okay. kill him, they uh, they carry him to go Kogi State. Okay. They can't dis uh, they contract the motor, can uh, trace them to mechanic workshop from mechanic workshop. The panabita it's can't show the the man will bring the motor. When your men 
your officers and men come go arrest the man carry and come Abuja. Mm. Now chuck then chuck knife for the uh, young man belly tear in belly intestine oh. outside before he die. Oh. Now as me and you they talk, they complain and they don't collect hundred thousand, collect this one, collect that one. They collect money for their hand. Eventually oh. they not even allow them see justice. They don't release allegedly somebody from the village in Koji Omala call them say the panel both the panel bit away they release and the man will be principal suspect all of them they don't release them when the father of the child the man uh, will then kill ask the police they say now nah, now nah order them bring now make the release murder suspect sir now okay. i say make i call you sir okay uh maybe this thing happened before i became cp abi now nah. Na June. Na June, yes, yes, yes na June. Na June this time. June, uh -huh. yes, sir. Me, I just took over uh, this August. Yes, but sir. With, with this development, I will call my GCCID and my PPRO mm. to know the position of that case. So, which time Where they go they come meet you for need. office? Eh? Which time they go come meet you for office? Because we, okay, the, the complainants. The whole world they interested on this matter now. Okay. And that's what I'm saying now. I will find out now if they can come. Uh, are they readily available? Because when I finish the meeting with the minister, I'm definitely coming back to my office. They are readily available. In fact, they are leaving Human Rights Radio now to uh, oh, office. So, uh, if they come, they will not meet me. That's the problem. Okay, how many o'clock they will come? The meeting starts by any moment 10. So I don't know if it takes two or three hours. If they can come by. Is it uh, by three or four? Okay, they will come four o'clock, sir. All right, better. Thank you. Let's Again, appreciate. I was, I my thank you. Thank you. Uh, sir, thank introduce you. yourself properly before you go, sir. Okay, no problem. You introduce yourself. We want to hear your name and your rank, sir. I'm a commissioner of police. Mm -hmm. Babaji Sunday. Babaji. Sunday. Let's appreciate him. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> this is Nigeria. Anything you think is not possible in this world it is not ju just possible in Nigeria. It's happening in Nigeria. So, Daddy, you still the talk. See, don't make you talk, sir. Sir, so when they, when we ask them the letter of uh, release. Mm -hmm. They told me that they didn't get any letter of release. Mm. Then I asked him, then there is no letter of release and uh, the person you have released him. So which means the case is dismissed. He didn't answer me. So I don't know what to do. That is why I say, let me come and meet you so that you can help me because talk I don't to the have, mic, sir. I don't have any other person that will help me. Please, sir, I need your help. Thank you. Sit down, sir. And this is the boy that is the breadwinner in the family. Sit down, sir. You get anything we we'll any of an hour add. Madam. Sorry. Sorry, you hear? Sorry. Hmm. 